Calculating spacing and placement of paging horns is quite a bit different than what we learned in the previous video about ceiling speaker spacing. Horns are typically used in large, loud interior locations, harsh environments, or outside. They are designed to project sound over a larger area than ceiling speakers. Their dispersion angle of 90 by 120 degrees looks much different than that of a ceiling speaker. And although the angle is different, there is still a 6 dB loss when you move outside of this area. So, installing the right amount of horns and spacing them properly is just as crucial. As a general rule, horns should be installed so that they are all pointing in the same direction within an area. If they are pointed toward each other, the area where the sound meets can cause issues like echo, reverberation, and inconsistent volume. The first step in determining the amount of horns you'll need and how far apart to place them is to measure the ambient noise level in the area where you wish to have audio coverage. If placing horns in a factory or other industrial setting, be sure to measure the noise level of the area when it's in full operation. Next, you'll need to measure the length and the width of the area that you want to cover. Once you have the length and the width of the area and the ambient noise level, Go to Valcom.com, Support, Tech Support, Knowledge Center, Calculators. Then select Horns. Enter the width and the length of the area that you just measured and click Calculate. The calculator will show you the number of either V1020C 5 watt or V1036C 15 watt horns that you'll need to cover your area. Now that you know how many horns we'll need, let's learn how to space them. Directly below the calculator, you'll find a chart that will show you how far apart to place your horns based on the ambient noise level. For example, if our room is 150 by 150 feet, and has an ambient noise level of 85 dB, we can see that if we want to use 5 watt horns, we'll need 9 of them, and they should be placed 50 feet apart. You may have noticed that we haven't taken the ceiling height of our area into consideration, like we did when calculating ceiling speakers. That's because ceilings in most factories or industrial buildings are too high to mount horns for effective coverage. The general rule of thumb is to mount them between 15 and 20 feet above the floor. We've found in our experience that this height allows for the best sound distribution in these settings. When installing Valcom analog horns, it is best to leave them at the volume level that they come set at from the factory. Turning the volume knob up during installation typically results in them being uncomfortably loud for most listeners. An inexpensive and extremely practical option is to install a V1094 preamp volume control when installing analog paging horns. This allows for easy volume adjustment without having to climb up a ladder or get a scissor lift to adjust individual volumes on each of the horns. The volume level of Valcom IP horns can easily be adjusted via software control. To find the number of IP horns you'll need to cover an area, along with how to space them, base your calculation on the 5 watt parameters outlined in the horn calculator and chart we used earlier.